Hello everybody again. Um, okay, those of you that saw the salmon presentation earlier today, I'm now going to cover another presentation we did last year, which is the proposal to bring investment to Prestwick Airport. Um, this presentation was put together um, for the then um, uh, CEO of the airport, Ron Smith. Um, as you all know, Ron Smith has departed. He's no longer there and there's a new CEO in place. Um, but let me take you through the process first of all of, of, of how we started this project off. Um, we started the project off by being introduced really to, to, to it by Chick Brody, um, who is a retired uh, MSP in Ayrshire. Um, and it, it was Chick who invited us over to Ayrshire and, and introduced us to the airport and the airport's needs and requirements. And it was Chick actually who did the initial introduction to, to Ron Smith. Um, at the time, we also felt we had to go through the correct channels um, to write a proposal for the airport. Um, and therefore, we presented it to the, to the Scottish uh, Minister of Transport first. Um, and we had a letter back um, in February uh, 2017 from Humza Yusuf's office, basically stating that um, the air, they stand a distance from the airport, uh, so they don't get involved in the st strategic management of the airport, and they introduced us officially to Ron Smith. So we had that um, official process of introduction to go in and talk to Ron Smith about our proposal. Um, the government had a, had a copy of our proposal, um, but they rather they then say talk to Ron Smith as he's the person to 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 take this forward. Um, we had many meetings with Ron Smith, as you all know, um, and then Ron Smith um, um, suddenly left mysteriously about a month ago. So we we felt then that we should probably write another letter to the Scottish government and and see if we could assist and taking it further forward. We got another letter back. Uh, this is this letter um, came back out to us only a few weeks ago, basically um, acknowledging that they'd seen our proposal, but now introducing us to Stuart Adams. Um, Stuart Adams has said to me, I've had telephone discussion with Stuart, and he has said to me he'll be coming back in a couple of weeks time uh, which is now due date is next week uh, Monday so I'll be contacting Stuart to establish if he's ready to have a further discussion with us um, but this is how again same letter um, government not involved in the day-to-day -day running all the strategic elements of driving the airport forward you need to speak to Stuart Adams about about going forward um, We've obviously had other discussions with other politicians and people subsequently since then as well, which I won't go into the details with at this moment. Okay. In our presentation, we talked about who are hypercarrot and what we do. And again, I think everybody knows that, so I don't have to discuss that in any, any great detail. It is very clear, very precise. Um, and then we went into introducing ourselves going into my background and experience in working outside the EU as a as a chief executive for, for many years. Um, Sean Ransley, who's a, who's, who's um, very experienced in transport, uh, both local and international. Um, and Paul Tilsley, who is um, the creative director who's been involved also in, in airport uh, marketing development uh, throughout the world and all three of us have worked very closely with a number of other high high um, um, high executives in the local market and across the world uh, to enhance this we also have a very close team of 
partners based in Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Lebanon, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, China, the Philippines, Japan, South Africa, Botswana, Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Canada, Mexico and the USA. So there's a big team involved here, a large team stretched out across the world, all waiting for us to press the button and go ahead with this project. Right, Preston Airport should form part of Scotland's strategic plan for growth. We feel that Scotland actually does not have a strategic plan for transport at all. Hence why it has such a dire problem now currently with its road haulage, with its trains, with its buses and with its aircraft. We believe for Prestwick Airport to succeed there must be a combined strategic plan that not only involves the airport executive management and the local business community of Ayrshire but it also needs to full government support with a clear strategic plan for all transport and a strong strategic plan that delivers Scotland's fine products to the rest of the world. The best in the world. Scotland produces some of the finest products in the world. We know about many of them, like the whiskies and the shortbreads, etc., the seafoods. So as an example, Scotland produces some of the fine products of the world examples the fantastic scottish salmon there have been some wonderful published international recognitions of the quality in countries where salmon is currently exported like the usa and france and you saw my last uh, presentation on salmon but it can do better and we mean a lot better and it you know, I, I've already stressed the, 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 the vast difference in sales volumes around the world in Norwegian compared with Scottish. Crazy. It is absolutely bonkers. This is where Scottish Enterprise and the SDI and the Salmon Association of Scotland need to get their focus clear and get into the markets, please. You know there's plenty of happy Norwegians out there because salmon is dominating the world. It's dominating the world because it's formed the right partnerships with the with the right type of players like Sky Cargo Emirates, which fly out of Oslo, okay, into the, the Dubai hub and then network off out across 60, 70 countries on a daily basis with Norwegian salmon. combination of focus and hard work. For highly perishable food like salmon, the mechanisms to transport it have to be understood. Investment has to be made in some areas of the supply chain. Current markets have to be bolstered and new markets have to be established. And then we're saying within two years, we, you will experience a significant increase in the export sales of just one product, salmon. It's clear. This, bear in mind this is a year old this this presentation now create air freight hub for scotland at the moment i read about building the bigger hub in a bigger hub in heathrow and scotland are going oh very nice very nice we might get some of the work to do that in prestwick well look there's a couple of things to first of all think about there i'm sorry i'm just going off the presentation for a minute one it hasn't been finally decided yet that Heathrow is going to get this additional runway. OK, that's the first thing. The second thing is, even if it was, it's not going to start for another three years at least. By then, the taxpayers will have lost even more money. Thirdly, I mean, I don't believe, you know, you should base strategy of Prestwick Airport on taking care of Heathrow's building project. Build your business around your strengths, your strengths being Scottish products. You're sitting in a pantry of Scottish products. Build your 
business plan around that. Prestwick Airport should become the hub for Scottish and Irish products that require air freight support. Products should not be packed onto trucks and driven down to Heathrow or other European airports. This business model applies to all fresh food, pharmaceuticals, specialist equipment and unique premium products coming in and out of the region. The Great North Circle Route. Okay, that is the route that runs across the whole of the, of the, of the, of the, of the northern part of the world, basically. And, this, and it runs right across the, the Scotland. I mean, it runs literally right across Scotland. And air freighters, okay, can save a fortune in, in jet fuel and save a fortune, fortune of time on the ground, okay, with quick turnaround, by using a location like Prestwick and keeping clear of Heathrow or East Midlands. It's a no-brainer. What Scotland development have got to do is build infrastructure outside the boundary fence so that logistics transport and all the requirements to support air freight and an air freight hub will work so that aircraft come in and out and can load and unload their their holes efficiently and effectively but you're in the right geographical area i think the point i'm making is you're not an airport stuck in the middle of the southern hemisphere somewhere you are on the the, the great north circle route you're there you're already well positioned you have an airport there you've got a runway there you're in a good position you know the weather and everything else never, never fogs in it, all these good things i hear about prestwick um are the things that you should be taking advantage of we focus on what is needed to make the proposal a success. It is important to note that attracting the right investors and building the right infrastructure around Prestwick Airport, not only outside the country, but outside the boundary fence is as is, as, is as important. And I would actually go further than that. Now I would say it is more important as what Prestwick Airport executives do inside the boundary fence. You've heard my ranting on about relaying car parks and cleaning escalators. This must focus on supporting business. Hypercarrot will ensure the right kind of infrastructure is brought in place, like consolidation and sorting depots, smoke houses, chilled facilities, road transport support facilities, etc. Companies involved in these kind of businesses need to see the advantage of setting up in and near Prestwick Airport and Hypercarrot will be talking to all of them. Producers and manufacturers in Scotland also need to understand the opportunities of moving their product a shorter distance to a full support air freight hub at Prestwick Airport, as well as being introduced to new overseas customers. OK, and Hypercarrot will be fully involved in making this happen as well. So. You've heard me talk about the Philippines as one was one particular market. There's many, many markets out there in Asia that I want to talk to you about in the future. We have already identified who we need over the last four months. Bear in mind, this is over a year ago now. So it was, you know, call it 14 months ago. Over the last four months, we have already identified and primed the best international airlines to approach, not only for cargo, but for passenger carrying as well. We have also identified and primed international companies who have a stake in moving products and people via airports. We have also started talking with international retail groups to support the region, and we have started talking with two large hospitality groups. Okay, these are all large groups that sit outside the UK that have an interest in a project the size of the Prestwick redevelopment. Now I can say that one of those companies has already invested heavily in the UK in another project in another location not an airport because they basically couldn't wait for our, 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 our time frame 
Um, now I'm still talking to them and there still could be some potential to move with them. Um, but these are these are particular investors that we have been talking to and have identified as being the right fit for the development of growing Prestwick Airport. Spaceport. Um, the spaceport gets covered extensively as a possible turnaround solution for Prestwick Airport by many, including Scottish Enterprise. Although we would never rule it out entirely as an, as an additional service based at Prestwick Airport, we are unable to quantify what a spaceport will deliver in additional revenue and jobs now or in the future. And we believe there are unknown costs yet to be realized in, the project, in a project like this. I think there are many who have the same view as, as us in this. And I think uh, I'm just surprised the spaceport gets so much publicity as the, as the savior for Prestwick. Um, anyway, okay, a proposal has been forwarded or it, at that time it was forwarded to, to, to the government and to the, um, to the um, Prestwick executive management. This document describes a summary of the starting phase proposal to turn Prestwick around. So far, the plan has been presented to Scottish Enterprise, the SDI, the DIT, um, executive management, uh, uh, politicians in, in high authority, etc. Okay, we've, and in the proposal, we state we state that within two years, confirmed international airline carriers and international investors will be brought in, as, as well as improvement in the export growth of Scottish products. Sorry, I'm moving this up a little bit fast because those of you looking at this have seen it all before. Okay, Hypercarrot provide a service and are not a company investing directly in the region. Scottish Enterprise and the SDR are not equipped to fund our proposal. They state they have over 2,000 people spread throughout the UK and abroad, focused on inward investment and marketing exports. But it has yet, it has yet to be noted that we are, that any of this is working for Prestwick Airport. Um, I don't need to say any more about this. We've been going round and round and round in circles with this. Um, I wouldn't be ranting up this if I didn't feel there wasn't a job to do here. Scottish Enterprise, the SDI so far haven't taken up the baton and said we'll do it. You know, and it carries on to lose a fortune in money. It doesn't need government money going into it. It needs private money going into it. It needs people who want to see the airport profitable. That can make the airport profitable. That will make the airport profitable. That's what is required. The plan, phase one, prepare the presentations. To entice, to entice our identified investors and airlines, a carefully prepared presentation package has to be produced. This presentation is then edited to provide the correct bespoke material required for each investor. The time frame to complete this work will take approximately two months. I think this is something which people don't understand. It's not about making a video. It's make, making lots of videos actually from a core video. It's about producing bespoke material to fit that client from that part of the world to get them interested in Prestwick Airport and then go to that part of the world, a different industry, and providing them with the right sort of material to get them interested in Prestwick Airport. It's not a one piece of material fits everybody out there in the world. And this is the first thing I want you to understand. This is why we have someone like Paul Tilsley with a vast amount of experience in marketing across the world. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I accept the fact people don't understand it because it's not being done on a regular basis over here. Um, but it's the only way we're going to get Prestwick Airport um, on its feet and working by getting the right overseas investors involved. Phase two. Once our presentation material has been completed, a schedule of meetings will take place with ongoing follow-ups taking place to reach conclusion. This process will take approximately 
approximately 18 months. Investors and airlines will be signed up within 24 months of starting the project. Okay, I think that's fairly straightforward.